Okay, so a couple of minutes early. So I'm waiting for people to show up. No big rush here. We'll see if he's, if he's on and who's not. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yes, register. It's not a good thing to do. So we've got one person, put your name in the live chat, and then we'll start. So as soon as you're on, put your name in the live chat, as always. So we've got Iman, good afternoon to you, sir. All of you guys, pop your name in the live chat for me, and I will explain to you how we're going to run and what's going to happen. I'm well enough, thank you, and I hope you're well too. Kelvin, hope you're well as well. Thank you. Um, I'm waiting on, there's at least three people watching. So if you, everyone puts their name in the live chat, it just makes my life that little bit easier. And I'll explain to you how and what we're doing today. What do you mean it's not going to be massively, if we can too confusing to anyone? Let me put the books up, it's not really here anyway. Let's take this on. Nuisance. Did not ask for that. Text books. Oh, that one. Now, let's see this one. We have. Uh, when is your monk exams? September. But I'll talk much, much more about that when people start popping up. Um, this is a few bits and bobs you need to know about, which is how I'm going to assess you, how I'm going to predict your grades. So I'm going to give you the full information today. All right? But obviously I'm not going to do it to an audience of four, wait till I've got everybody. Um, I'm also going to be doing calls for concerns for those who need it today. So that's the clicking you're hearing in the background. The new registers and all those things, not, not everyone's been shall we say, as hardworking as I'd hoped. Let's just leave it at that. Box keys, I guess that's fine. Let's see how many people are on now. We've got still four. Um, so we've got Morella, we've got Farhan. It says like there's five people on here, but like the amount of people that are signed on isn't that many numbers. Like they should do like, you know. So I'm watching the numbers and I'll explain to you how we're gonna do things. Okay, cool. Well, I think there's enough people. I've got quorum, that's that's close enough, right? So this is how it's gonna work. Um, as you you probably aware, just watching the news and all the rest of it. The likelihood of us opening in the next say two or three weeks is none. I mean, the earliest we can realistically hope to open is June, and there's a chance that we won't open before September. Let's be realistic. So I need to start putting processes in place by which, when I do your assessment of whether you survive this year, so basically whether you're going to get chucked out or not, or whether, when I do the assessments of what your predicted grades are, there has to be some fair way of doing it. And this is what I've decided. It's going to be three layers to this. I know you can't see that top one, so I'll put it here. So there's three things I'm going to mainly be assessing. I will give you a full mock in September, yeah? So I'll still, I'll still be testing you, but I won't be giving you a full mock that I'll use to kind of, you know, this is one of the biggest things, excuse me, for predicted grades until September. Now, some of you guys will be going for Oxford Cambridge, and some of you guys will be going for medicine, and I can catch you, obviously, you'll need your grades earlier than that. And for those guys... I'll have a discussion with you guys of how I can assess you earlier than that. But for the vast majority of people, September 2020, when we come back, will be the one. All right. But just bear in mind, if it's an Oxford Cambridge thing, we might have to do something different. If it's a medicine thing, we might have to do something different. OK, that's one thing I'm going to assess you on. It's probably the biggest thing. I will give you some project work. 
and that will come out over the next two or three weeks. Um, and I'll explain more about that in detail. It'll be more problem solving. It'll be more open-ended questions. It'll go beyond the content of the course. So, you, like, for example, if we're going to do one on statistics, it might well be based in, for example. If we're doing it in mathematics in you know, the pure side, differential equations will be taken up. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to go beyond the course differential equations anyways, but, yeah. And the third thing is the thing that I set up for you today. So you're going to check this, check that you've got. Every single person in this class now has a live chat on Microsoft Teams. And the purpose of that live chat is this. Every person, every time I'm going to set you work, which will be every single lesson, I want to see photographs of that work. And those photographs need to be sent to just that chat. All right. So I'll give you an example. Kelvin, you've got a chat. We were just talking on it a minute ago on, on Microsoft Teams. Once you finish your work for today, you send in your picture, and then I've got your picture. All right. This this way, there will never be any kind of argument. Were you in lesson? Weren't you in lesson? Da, 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 da. So I'll set you some work. You send me the picture of it. You need to send it like by midnight of that day. Don't send it. At midnight. I'm just saying like that's literally the deadline. Um, and I can go back. So like six weeks from now, six months from now, if there's an argument about oh I was in every lesson you just didn't see me, I can go well no I haven't got your homework from this 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 I haven't got your classwork from that 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 yeah. It's basically going to become not just a chat, it's going to be the portfolio of the work you've done. So every single lesson, you need to upload your, your photographs of the work you've done in lessons. And that way, there can be no arguments on either side. So if I've, if I've missed your work, if it's my mistake, you can just go, well, BJ, we've got a chat. The good thing about Microsoft Teams is they never delete. So like, you can delete the chat on your side, but it won't. you can't delete messages, you can't delete anything. Just bear that in mind also if you're talking in classes to each other, whatever, yeah? So please just remember anything that's on Microsoft Teams stays on Microsoft Teams forever, all right? So there's no way it can cause any kind of difficulty for anyone else, you know, so that's hopefully okay. So it's going to be the chat is going to be um, your portfolio. So that way, I'm hoping you feel more comfortable because it's not just going to be some random exam in September 2020. If you work hard now, you can influence how you how you achieve what I predict for you, Cass, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So the power, to, to quote something ridiculous, is in your hands. Yeah? You have the power in this situation. As long as you do the work, nobody can take away um, your life chances or your life opportunity. And to me, that's the fairest way of doing things. So there'll be a September 2020 mock, maybe one a bit earlier for those people at Oxford Cambridge. There'll be a project, which I'll give you more details about in the next three weeks, two to three weeks. And the live chat will be your portfolio of work. You don't need to upload. If you've already sent me pictures from like last week, the week before, you don't need to worry about that. I'm going to ask you to start doing this from today. All right. So you send your work from today. I now have 11 people watching this. I've got eight people in my class. That's a bit weird. Um, OK, so I hope that that will make sense to people. The next thing I'm going to do is let's have a look at the Dr. Frost homework. All right, because if you remember correctly, I did um, ask you guys, obviously it will be late at this point because it was due earlier. But if you've done it late or you made the effort to do it, I consider that at least you did it. Do you know what I mean? You're making the effort and I'm, I'm appreciative of that. So let's have a look at the activity log. Let's have a quick chat about this. It's the year for further maths. Um, I can see, what can I see? My class, thank you. So this is just me, you know, just, just checking everything. Um, so year 12 for the maths, what can I see? I can see, if you're looking at Eman stuff, perfect. Work is done. Farhan, you're still missing a fair bit, all right? Um, Mirella, you don't seem to have done anything. Um, Reba, perfect. I mean, I couldn't find a way of accessing your comments. So in fact, let me see if I can now. I can't, I can't get to them. I can see that you made them, but I can't get to them. So if you just want to drop me, again, in the chat, the individual chat that I've made for you, if you can just um, repeat those comments, I'd be so grateful because I actually can't get hold of them somehow. So I, I can literally see that you, there's like a, a speech bubble next to it. So I can see that you made them, but I can't see what they are. Um, okay, who else am I going to look at? Um, Kelvin, you've got a couple due. Um, Zarif, you need to catch up one. Obviously, I know your situation. Kaisan, you're looking 
good for what you've done. I'm pretty happy with that. And you've started the next one as well. Good job. If you want to make comments, I think you're probably better off doing them on a live chat. As I said, I can't really get hold of them. Sheen, that's looking good. That's looking really good. So that's a big improvement over last time. I'm much, much happier with that now. Okay, so just be, yeah, that, that's where we're at with that. Um, so if I've said you've got stuff missing, catch up the stuff that's missing. Um, I am going to start handing out calls for concerns. X, Y, Z, they, used, but they said it was wrong. Um, was that an integration thing and you were using the LN? Um, maybe, you know what? I don't think it recognizes the character. So Reba, I would not like blame yourself for that. You got it right, but I just don't think it realized, maybe the don't think the Dr. Frost software is quite that sophisticated. Same kind of issue. Yeah, in that case, neither of you guys need to worry about that. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And those grades, I will take that into account. The fact that you made that mis it's a mistake is not a mistake, is it? Let's be fair. It's not a mistake. You didn't make a mistake. It's the software wasn't, you know, sophisticated to understand what you were saying. And that's fine. Okay, cool. So what are we going to do today? Today is actually no new content. Okay. What I want to use today for is to consolidate on two topics. Topic number one is the first set of questions in differential equations, okay? So differential equations, I'm gonna give you, and the second one is pulleys, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you page numbers and all that, but I wanna be here today to kind of answer any of your questions and things you can't do with this. Your goal is to try and finish as much of both of those exercises as you can. I'm not expecting you to do every single question from all of the exercises I'm writing. But you know what? When you send me pictures, if I can see like you've done two, three pages, I'm, I'm satisfied. If I see you've done one question, we've got problems, right? So in terms of the differential equations, let me give you the page number. It's the one you're working on before. So basically I'm giving you a chance to finish it because I feel like you didn't really get all that time, much time to do it. Let me give you a page number. Um, the page number for differential equations is page, wait, I think it's 323, but let me just check. Yeah. Sorry, we don't need weird sounds. Um, 324 and 325. So that's that exercise I want you to do. And then pulleys is in, and this is in the pure two book. This one's going to be in the applied, the stats and mechanics year one book. So let me just pull that open. Um, lesson materials, textbooks. So this is the statistics and the mechanics first year. Bear with me just a moment. And that particular exercise is, boom. Okay, cool. So what are we looking at there? That we're looking at um, page 150, what? Those are hard, I'm not doing those. Let's put it. Oh, that's because this is a second year book. I was just thinking, bloody hell. Bear with me just a sec. It's because it's applied one year after. Um, bear with me just a moment. While you're waiting, have a look at the differential equations one on three, two, four, three, two, five in the pure two book. I'll give you the page number for the applied one in just a sec. I need to get it back for myself. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what you guys are saying about all that. Wait, do we have the applied book? That's a question. Um, can, yes, of course. Question 7 on 11J will do. Um, I'm just going to write that there so I don't forget. I'm going to email it out to you again. How's that? The applied one. You should have all of them. And I'm pretty sure you do at this point. But you know what? Even for me, I couldn't find it in like a few seconds. So maybe it's not in an obvious place. So just bear with me a second and I'll email it out to every single one of you. How's that? 
Um, it will just make life easier rather than just saying, oh, where's your book? Um, right, cool, that's open. Um, file, save it as. I mean, it was the book we were using tons of before, um, before Easter, because we were doing things like, we're doing a bunch of like quite boring stat stuff, if you remember. Um, I certainly do, it was pretty trivial. Come on, silly computer. Thank you. Um, so that's my one. Beautiful. Cool. And then email it out to everyone. So who's in our class? We have got Marella. We've got Kai San. That's a really bad spelling of your name. Um, so we've got Kelvin. Kai Why do you keep spelling your name wrong? We've got Reba. Come on. We've got Iman. Yeah. Who else have we got in our class? We've got Shein. We've got Farhan. And we've got Zaref. Bear with me. This literally all clicking and tapping is me just sending you the book. <sighs> What's wrong with this thing? Why are you taking so long? Right. Zarif. Use... Um, not use Zarif, the, the computer. We really need to buy a mouse for this. Pain in that one. Um, boom. Textbooks. That's like one. Okay. Yes, that's your copy, please. Um, it's now, well, now it's going to be sent to you. Okay, we'll send to you in a second once, once it decides it's finished loading. Nobody cares, thank you. While we're waiting for that to load, if anyone's having problems with equipment, as in like ICT equipment, as in you haven't got a laptop, tablet, Wi-Fi is a problem, can you drop me a message on Microsoft Teams? Do that now if you can. Um, in order that there are funds available, up to 200 pounds available, and like this is so. What am I talking about? Basically, things like if you haven't got a good Wi-Fi connection, if there's like a lot of you've got a lot of brothers and sisters, and you're all doing online learning, and there's a bit of a fight for the laptop. That's the kind of situation we're talking about. So, if you have got that situation, obviously you don't need to kind of say that where people can hear. You can just drop me something on uh, the live team. You need to do it today. You need to do it now, really, this minute, if you can, because I'm going to send the spreadsheet at about half past two. I'll send another spreadsheet tomorrow with more details of people that haven't, you know, who are in that same situation. But it'd be super helpful if you could do that now for me. So go to, if you are in that situation, you haven't got enough equipment for your whole family in terms of studying. It, it can't be like, um, you can't do stuff because your mum's watching, um, I don't know, Indian movies. That's your problem. But if it's something like, um, play with. Um, if it's something like, there's three of you, you've got three brothers, three sisters, and you're all studying secondary school, A level, primary school, whatever, then obviously there is money available to support you. Um, where are we at? That's almost right, actually, I think. It is page 175 in the textbook for the applied one, and I've sent that to you. Okay, cool, so we've had one request so far, um, not about money, about maths, and that's question seven on 11J, it's the only question I couldn't do. Okay, cool, so I'm just gonna leave that there for a minute, and then I'm gonna start going through Eman's question. Can you start typing, can you look at the questions that I've set you to do, and start typing in the chat box things you wanna see in addition to what Eman says, and that's and that's fine. And Eman, if you've done everything else, by all means, feel free to send me those pictures today at some point, all right? Because that's your, you know, that's the way you're going to get credit for you for your hard work. Before you do, obviously, mark it. Right, it makes my life just that little bit easier. Can, you can imagine I haven't got a printer. If you send me a picture of something, there's no way I can realistically mark it. I mean, it's not possible. Um, we seem to have lost a few people. Is it interesting? I might do another register in a minute and see who we lost. Right, I'm going to rub this off. I'm going to have a quick look at. Question seven on 11J. Okay, let's have a look at that one. Um, what the hell is 11J for a start? 
Right, boom, 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 boom. That's fine. Seven, ten. Yep, eleven J. That's right. And it's question seven. Did you say? Find the particular solution to the differential equation one plus x. I'm going to have to change pen in a minute. I know. X squared dy dx x plus y x y plus y. Okay, so that's the one you're looking at. It's going to someone just popped up on the um, thing. So just bear with me a minute. Where that came from? Thank you. Um, Bear with me just a moment. Someone's just popped up something quite urgent on the Microsoft Teams. So that's the question we're doing. Can everyone see that? Just pop that. Just check whether we can see that. So that's question seven. All right. Have we done 11J before? That's what we were doing last lesson. That's the kind of thing that I need to kind of like really hit people hard and then ask me questions like that. Because that's literally what we covered last lesson. Differential equations. That exercise. Yeah. I'm not sure which questions you're meant to do. You should have done. On Monday, quite a chunk of 11J. That's why Iman's able to say, can you go through question seven? That's the only one I can do. Um, did I write it wrong? Can I just check? Um, question seven, yeah, one plus X squared. That's right. DY, DX, X. Oh, yeah, you're right. I have. You're right, because I wrote six, didn't I? So you're absolutely right. X minus X, Y squared. Yeah? So a lot of you guys coming back at me and saying, well, have we ever seen this before? Yep, yeah, you've got it right, Iman. I'm like... Okay, my dudes, what the hell did you think the last video was on? I mean, what do you think literally you were covering on Monday? I mean, it's a bit awkward. And I say a bit awkward, it's bloody awkward, right? Go back in time, what have you been studying? How to separate the variables and how to find, how to integrate. That's, that's all you've learned the differential equations so far. That's why you've got problems, right? And that's why there is an issue here. Um... Right, so just bear with me a second, um, because someone's popped up and they're basically... Uh, cool, so what do we need to do? What's the mechanism here? Factorization's a good point to start from. Why would I do that? Because I get that to be one minus y squared there, which is pretty handy, yeah? And that just means I can separate out the variables very, very quickly. Is everyone happy with line number one? So it's just line number one here. That's your first move because now you've got everything in nicely breakable pieces. Yeah? Okay, your next thing you need to do is put all the y's on one side and all the x's on the other. So what you're going to get there is it's going to be one over one minus y squared dy equals x1 plus x squared dx, okay? Is that making sense so far? All right, is that making sense so far? I hope everyone's okay with this. I'm just gonna move the camera just a teensy bit so you can see that slightly better. So that's your first two lines of dealing with this question. And now we're gonna integrate both sides. Now we're gonna integrate both sides. Is anyone lost so far? If you literally do not know what the hell I'm talking about, can you pop that up in a chat box? If you don't like any of the first two lines, you literally have no clue what I'm talking about. Literally just like, this man is waffling. I'm, do you know what? Even if it was your fault and because you didn't watch the video, even then I forgive you, ask the question, right? Right, beautiful, cool. Let's move on to the next slide. So the logical thing to say is we're gonna integrate both of these guys, all right? And one's a lot easier to deal with than the other. This is super easy to handle, right? This is super easy to handle. It's literally just gonna go, this guy here is a half ln one plus x squared plus c. Is that making sense? That's super, super easy to handle. Yeah? No particular, hopefully no particular issues with that. 
But then, and this is the bit I'm going to set for you, we need to deal with this. So let me just pop that camera back a bit so you can see that a bit better. So the right-hand side is super easy. Copy that out for me. Then I'm going to do the left-hand side for you. And in fact, you are going to do the left-hand side. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? The right-hand side, I simply use the idea that if you differentiate the bottom and you get the top, or close enough, differentiate x squared, you get 2x. That's why there's a half there. Um, that's relatively easy. Now, the next question is, what do you do with the right hand? I'm sorry, the left-hand side. And that's what I'm going to kind of give you a helping hand on now. Thank you, Iman. Made my life very easy there by sending me all those pictures. Lovely. Good job. Good job. I'm happy with that. I'm going to rub this out now. I'm not going to rub it out. I mean, it's not wrong. Everything's right so far. And we're going to concentrate just on the left-hand side. All right? Because that's slightly harder. So we've got one. I mean, this camera, I need to like literally get a new camera. Let's get one of those. Um, one, one minus y squared. Yep. Yeah? Now, you might think, that how the hell do I integrate that? Because that y squared is, you know, differentiates to 2y. That's just 1. I can't do my natural log things. I need to do this. I'm going to write that as saying, well, that's the same as, sorry, it's not a, it's 1. 1 over 1 plus y and 1 minus y. Okay? So you basically are going to do algebraic fractions again because that's the same thing as saying, a over 1 plus y plus b over 1 minus y, okay? And that's the thing I want you to do for me right now. Can you tell me, can you tell me what a and b are, all right? Can you tell me what a and b are? So that's your next, that's your challenge. Again, I'm not going anywhere, so pop the solutions in the answer box as soon as you're ready. Tell me what a and b are. And that's the way you're going to deal with that integral, 1 over 1 minus y squared. a is 1 and b is 1, okay? A is one and B is one. Um, can everyone just check that, make sure that's true? In fact, I can do the maths in my head. Um, if A is one and B is one, you'd get, wouldn't you get two at the top? Or am I stupid? I mean, I've been stupid in the past, but I'm not sure what I am now. Cross multiply, if you put one there, one times one over Y, um, would that work? Yeah, because that's how that would be, of course it would. So yeah, is it? Are they both positive ones, Iman? Can you check that for me? So I reckon the y's will cancel with the positive ones. So if you go one times this, you get. Is it okay? I'm just, I'm just, just not super confident with this. I'm just going to do it anyway, just to be sure, right? Nothing to lose. Um, if you cross multiply, you get a one minus y. And b one plus y. I don't think you, can see, you can't see that, so let's just pop it here. This y is also in my notes. So you got a one minus y plus b one plus y over one minus y one plus y one minus y. Yeah. So that's the cross multiplication of this, and this all equals one, right? So you've got a plus b, a plus b equals one. Um. And we've got, yeah, that makes sense, a plus b equals 1. a minus b, so the b minus a, rather, equals 0. Now, neither of those equations would work with 1 and 1. So am I doing something wrong, or are you doing something wrong? The cross-multiplication looks correct to me. I can't see an error there. So if you cross-multiply this, this thing would equal that, thing, right? That's the logic of it. Yeah, so halves, maybe, halves. Okay, go on, what's your halves, then? So you're saying B is a positive a half. All right, fine. Then A is positive half as well. So, okay, halves work. Yeah, halves work, fine, cool. I'm willing to take that on. Um, okay, cool. So I'm going to leave that there for a minute because I want to show you something quite clever. I'm going to show you something very clever, actually, because it's me, but, you know. I'll leave you a minute just to copy that, right? So this is what I mean about like, solving the equations. We could kind of see that that wasn't going to work. Let me just clean this off a bit. Just taking notes, right? Of course, you come into a lesson with pen and paper, just like you would for any other class. So you're taking notes. I'm going to shut up for about two minutes, let you copy that now. I'll do register at the same time. You don't get it, why? It's really useful you tell me that you don't understand it, but the best thing you can do to help me is go, I didn't understand from line, and then tell me which line you didn't get. So what? No, 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 don't you do anything. You stop, just copy what I've given you, 
All right, don't go any further, all right? Cast and hold, deep breath. So I can show you something clever, right? It's gonna make your life very, very easy. I know what you're trying to do, but there is a thing there that, you know, once you see it, you'll understand what I mean, all right? Um, what's that supposed to be? That's what I meant. All right, so you guys copying this down. I'm waiting for Farhan to tell me what he didn't like. The A plus B like, okay, cool. That's a fair shout. Because where the hell did that come from? So what I said was, if this equals that, when I cross multiply this, I'd get that. So this must equal that as well. I'll say that again. If I'm replacing this by that, they must be the same thing. This cross multiplied is that. So this thing and that thing must also be the same as well. So if these two are equal, those two are equal as well. Same logic, same mathematics, right? Then what I did was I expanded the top. A minus AY, so I'll put that that way. A minus AY plus B plus BY equals zero, one, yeah? Where did the one come from? I'm gonna move the camera so you can see that, don't worry. Yeah? So why is that true? Because the top half of this has to equal the top half of that. So the numerators are equal because the fractions are equal. So A minus AY, expanding the bracket, plus B minus BY equals one, all right? Then if you think, well, okay, I've only got two numbers, A and B. So A plus B must equal one. I haven't got any Ys at all. So B minus A must equal zero. So they're both a half, all right? So that's how you know that you've got these two equations. And then the solutions of these are just simultaneous equations. A is a half, B is a half, all right? And that's it, okay? And the, probably the easiest way of doing that is add both equations together. The A's cancel and you get 2B equals 1, so B equals a half. That's the logic behind it. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, again, pop up in the chat. Now, I want to show you this. Kaisan's been waiting for it, and I'm appreciative for him to wait. So you now have got a half over... Um, quickly kind of refreshing my own screen to see where we're at at this point. A half over one plus y, one minus one. And that's the whole integral there. Yeah? Um, a half, it's not minus, it's a half. Now, here is the clever play. Here is the clever play. Factorize the half out. Because the other one also has a factorized half in the front of it anyways. If you remember the right-hand side of the integral. And now you've got a beautiful set of integrations that you can do without stressing too hard. All right? Because the differential of y is 1. That's the clever thing to do. Okay, let me just put the camera in the right place so you can't see any of that. So what I'm saying to you is this. Why is this being stupid now? Oh, I hate this camera so much. Um, you come here then. Move there. Oops, that's my house. You don't need to see that. I don't know what you can actually see. It's not a lot of right, there we go. Yeah? So what I'm saying is that that integral is the same as that integral. And that is just so much easier to handle. Yeah? Because now you can just go straight to LNs. So you can say this guy is a half lots of LN. Okay? Which is just going to be LN 1 plus Y minus LN 1 minus Y. Okay, and I'll, again, I'll move the camera so you can see that. That's what this is now, yeah? So half ln 1 plus y minus a half ln 1 minus y. Now, if anyone knows their laws of logs, that's incredibly easy to combine because that would just be a half ln 1 minus y squared, okay? With the half on front, yeah? Good things is you can cancel, yeah? So apologies for that line, that's not true. I thought they were adding, my mistake. Um, then it's subtracting. So just leave it as that, sorry. Leave it as that. that, that doesn't need to be done. No, it's not, it's not. That was just me having a little bit of brain fade. Just leave it at that, that's fine. Keep it like that. Um, cancel the halves now, because what you've got here, yeah, plus C, yeah, plus C, you're right. Um, so what you've now got is that the left-hand side says a half, you can't see that all that well. Is everyone happy up to this point? You can divide, but we're not going to yet. You absolutely can divide. In fact, I can show you a trick for that. Instead of dividing, 
Yeah, we need to see on one of the sides. doesn't matter. Right, so here's how it's going to work. As long as you have a C on either side, I'm just going to take a sip of water to my throats. Tickling for some reason. Um, you have now got, on the left-hand side, you've got your LN. Can you see that? No, you can't. LN. One plus y minus ln one minus y equals a half ln. So the half's gone now. <coughs> I really am strong like that. It's really ticklish for some reason. ln um, one plus x squared. So that's what you've got, right? As long as you've got a plus c on one side, you're okay. All right, because the thing you want to do now before you go any further, right, is substituting the values that they gave you into the question. So the question said, let me just pull it back up. Um, X equals zero, Y equals two. And now you can find plus C super easily. OK, so what you'd end up getting is C is whatever C is. So can I ask you what you think C is going to come out of this? All right, so right, I've got the answer in front of me. So what is C then? Because then it's easier to simplify because so you've got all the bits and bobs you need. All right? And, you, and once you're there, you're there. Where did the half go? They both cancelled. There was a half on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Um, I've got here... Oh, you've gone with LN3. Um, let's see what, what other people come up with. I don't think that's quite what I got. I got what? LN3 minus LN minus... Well, that'll just be what? Let me just LN1, won't it? So you go LN3... Minus, yes, I agree with Morella. Learn one again. I'm sick of this camera, I'm gonna blow it up. Whenever this, never mind. Learn three minus learn one, which is obviously just a zero. Um, what happens with this guy becomes plus learn one, which is not a great deal. Um, where did you get the half from? Learn one there plus C. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Makes sense. Yeah, it's a half. It is. It is a half. I'm looking at the work solutions. <laughs> can you have some three for three B? Yes. Um, of course, can. Once we're done here. Let's check all this is right. So you go two in there, you get, well, that'll just be LUN1 for sure. Just, let me just sort this out. So yeah, it's zero, obviously, so I just cancel. So I see why you'd say it just be LUN3, because you, you've got that. So actually, maybe, maybe you know this right. So you've got half lun three. Well, I'm just doing something mad. Half lun three. Oh, do you know why? It's a really, really simple thing. Because the C, that's not what C equals. That's what a half C is. 
Sorry, that's what's yeah, so yeah, yeah, it makes absolute sense. Um, Thingy is right. Um, Morella is right, and it's a really, really interesting mistake because we cancelled a half on here, we cancelled a half on there, but we didn't cancel a half on the C because the C was already a whole thing. So if we're going to times everything by two, which is how you cancel half, that's a two C there. Do you see? It's a really, really subtle error, but it's an error nevertheless, and we'll have to stand with Morella. Morella is right. 2C equals ln3, C equals a half ln3. I hope that now makes sense, right? So what was the problem there? We cancelled the halves on the LNs, yeah, for sure, as if it was nothing. But we did not remember that the C didn't have a half to worry about, so therefore we should have doubled it, yeah? Because if you're cancelling a half, that's times in by two, times all the things by two, and you've got 2C equals ln3, C equals a half ln3, all right? I hope that now makes sense. Are we done? No. What we're going to do after that is have a go at solving it. We've got C now. So if we know that C is a half ln3, yeah, we know that C is a half ln3, um, we can all put, we can push that back together and go, well, if before we had a half ln1 plus x squared, and now we have a half ln3, now it's the time to combine using laws of logs to get that this whole thing is a half ln3 plus 3x squared. Okay? Okay? So the right-hand side, because we know that was the right-hand side and that's the plus c, we can make the whole thing equal that now. All right? Now, from, the, from there, we can cancel the lns and the halves and all the rest of it and get ourselves a nice equation. All right? So what, what have you got left to do here on the table? You've got ln1 plus y minus ln1 minus y, okay? Equals that thing without the half. So you will end up with ln, and you've got one plus y at the top. All right? You're subtracting, so you're dividing, you're dividing by one over y. Now, the one minus y bit is interesting because that's not ln y. So what I'm going to do, which you know probably the best thing to do here. You've got one minus y. Hmm. Just think about the ideal way of dealing with that situation. Um, this is obviously just going to go 3 plus 3x squared. What should I do about this? I mean, dividing through, laws of log say that if you, you've got a subtraction, you divide. But then you've got a modulus on it. Um, and if I'm going to write this out without the modulus, do I know anything about why? Let me go back to the question. Because I don't want to break the laws of log. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. So you've got to be super careful with how you do all this. Um, because if we're going to say that ln 1 plus y, and we've got ln 3 plus 3x squared, and then we're going to cancel the lns in a minute. If we're going to say that this bottom part here can never be negative. It's not allowed to be. But if we put one minus y, we just do laws of logs. We say this, we know we're, we're going to be making an error there. That won't be right. So I'm going to put it as y minus one, okay? Because we know that that will give us a positive value. Then you can cancel the lns, and then you've got one plus y over y minus one equals three plus three x squared. And then it's just a simple kind of um, functions, almost like functions type question, where you need to be able to factorize out the y's in the end and make y the subject. So I'm going to leave to you. That's something you need to do. Um, I'm trying to get this so you can actually see all of it in one go. There we go. That's better. And that's perfect. So that's how you deal with that one. It's a bit of a rough question. Okay. But where you should end up is you get to here, and then you've just got to rearrange to make y the subject. Okay. What I'm going to do is have a look at number three now. 
the modulus thing, yes? Is it part of 2.5 in the year two book? I don't know. I'm, I'm not looking at 2.5. Have a look and tell me. That's fine. Um, the modulus thing, yeah, the modulus thing is, yeah, oh, the modulus thing. Yeah, 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 it is. Um, the only thing mathematics you need to know is actually got nothing to do with the idea of modulus. It's much more to the idea that logs can't ever come out and be negative. Yeah? And the one plus y will always be positive as long as y is positive. But the y minus, the one minus y might not be. And we know that, that y is a positive number for two. So you've got to be careful just to make it work. All right? So that's, that's the way that goes. All right. So I want a quick look at question three now. Um, see what people are saying about that. And if you've got any other questions, pop them in a live chat. You should, like, if, you, if the things I'm saying to you are not relevant, and sometimes they won't be because you, you'll understand them, feel free just to do your work, and that's, that's not a problem. Let's have a look at number three. We're looking at... What am I looking at? Go back to Google. You want me to look at three... So three needs to be done in entirety, doesn't it? Um, you clear off. That's not very helpful. Boom. I made a mistake in that part of the question. I don't blame you because I had to, you saw me take a couple of minutes to think about that because part of you says just blast it and the other half goes, hold on a minute. You know what the laws of logs are. You know the logs can't be negative. Okay, cool. So let's have a little think here. But in a question three, I'm just going to do, I'm going to do an example. You said 3B, so I'll do your example. I'll do, so I'll do 3A and 3B. I'll do 3A and 3B. I'll do the whole thing. Probably just sort of doing it. Anyway, cool. So we've got x squared, dy dx. Don't worry, if you can't see that, I'm going to check the screen and see what you can and can't see. x, y. So that's the one we're doing, okay? And we need to find a general solution to that. All right? Okay, cool. That's fine. That's no problem. So this is what we've got. Remember what I said, by the way, if you need, like, support for money-wise in terms of, like, getting more ICT equipment, drop me a message today because literally after this, you know, this video, I'm going to do it. So that question four and five, I mean, one at a time, boss, you asked for three as well. So, you know, yeah, we'll get it, we'll get it done, but slowly, right? So let's deal with this one now. So you're saying question 3a. So the first thing you're going to do is factorize out the y. So you've got x squared dy dx, oh, for flip sakes, x squared dy dx equals y1 plus x. Why do you need to do that? It's really, really simple um, because you need to separate variables, right? So now you're going to get 1 over y dy dx. Hopefully this isn't going to be stressful for anyone. And then it's the same business you had before. Here you've got 1 plus x over x squared dx. And I hope you, you're at the point where you can go, that's just going to be ln y. Yeah, that's just going to be ln y. Now, it's interesting, this one, because this does not differentiate to make that. Differential of x squared is 2x for sure, and that's fine. But you've got a plus 1. And that means you're not going to be able to do it by doing this question three. It's one you asked for. I'm just going to write out the lines. Copy this for me, and then I'll explain to you why this isn't as obvious as it looks. But it's still very doable. So that's that's where you are at the moment, okay? So copy up to this point, okay? And then I'll explain what, what to do for the next lines. Yeah? Focus on the work, my dudes. We ain't got time to mess around, have we, really? And you keep asking questions, by all means. So this is what we did, number three, all right? And I've done you the first few lines of three. If you don't understand them, pop them in your chat. If you do understand them, copy them out. At which point, as soon as you're ready to move on, just type in move on, and we'll move on to finishing off the question. We're not going to change the question. We haven't finished it yet. All right, so put your feedback into the live chat. I don't understand this. I do understand that. Yeah, I need to know. Uh, Farhan, don't get put off. You don't understand something, you don't. You need to explain. You, you need to explain. So where it goes. So as soon as you finish copying, if you don't understand, put something in the comments. Tell me when I'm ready to move on. My throat is dry. Talking about bloody hours, right? No, 15 minutes. Not too good. 
So I'm waiting on you guys to tell me when I can move on or whether you need plus Eleng. Um, or as in like, oh, I know what you mean. The constant. Depends what suits me. I know it's, it's again, like sort of the answer that gave to Iman. I'll do what suits me. Usually the right-hand side, to be fair. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. It's exactly, yeah, you're right, Kaisen. You're absolutely right. Just put it, yeah, put it on the right-hand side generally, unless it's some really good reason not to. But for now, I don't think we've got a problem here. Has everyone finished copying this? Can I move on yet? Is basically what I'm asking. Can I move on to the next part of this question? Not even a different question. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so we're at this point, right? Let's see my hand can go, can go here. Can you go here? No, not quite. So we've now got the integral of, what's the really good reason? Because it makes my maths easy. That's always the really good reason, I'm sorry to say. And, it, and the thing is, it's because it's, um, it's specific to the question. I can't go, oh, if it's like this, do that. If it's like the other thing, do it this way. You just have to open up your eyes and go, okay, what suits me? What makes my life easier? And that's, that's where you're at with it. Okay, so we've got a problem, as I told you before. This is easy, ln dy. So ln y dy, yeah? I mean, no stress at all. This guy won't work like that. This guy you're gonna to have to do algebraic fractions for. Okay, so it's again, another question on algebraic fractions. <coughs> so, how do we deal with that particular situation? Um, I mean, there's ways and means around this. I'm going to go to what the answer is, if you don't mind. And if you don't believe me, do it and simplify it. It's, it's what that is. That's just what it is. Um, I'll write it down a bit neater for you. I mean, it's worth remembering that this is how you do it. But if you cross multiply this, you'll end up in the same place as that. You'll have to do a bit of a spot of simplifying first, but that's how it is, yeah? Why do we put C on both sides? Because you only need one constant, Y, D, 2. How does it help? Not to mention, if you need to find the constant as a number, having two would make it impossible. There is no possible advantage to having two constants. Just combine them into one. It doesn't give you any benefit at all. Okay. Cross multiply this, and you get that. I'm just gonna say this is how this is. You, you can do the algebraic fractions bit yourself. Um, integrate that, and you've now got ln x. Um, no, no, wait, let's do it properly. X to the minus one, haven't you? So minus x to the minus one. So minus x to the minus one plus ln x plus c. Um, and I'm just going to say, let's just call C L N K, make our lives easy. Yeah. Just to make our lives that little bit nicer. So that's L N Y D Y is that, yeah? And what is called the C, just let the C be L N K, but then everything's more or less L N apart from this guy. That's not the end of the world though, because what we'll do, we'll just un L N everything. And then that equals Y equals, well, the L N and the E will just cancel. So that's just be X. And then you've got K. Well, hold on a minute. L and K. Well, that's just, yeah, okay, gotta be careful with that. Because so we're eating everything, aren't we? So, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get e to the minus x to the minus one um, plus ln x plus ln k. Is anyone baffled yet? Are we all cool up to that? All I've done is to cancel the lns on everything, I've put everything to the power of e on the left hand side and everything to the power E on the right-hand side. Okay, and that's why that's happened. Again, you're gonna have a little break now, you're gonna have a chance to copy that down, then I'll take you through the last few steps. So these are all kind of skills. How do you kill an LN? You put an E. Um, right, I'm gonna explain this in 15 seconds, right? If you've got four or five constants that you don't know what the value of each one are, just imagine that the one constant that I put there is the sum of the five constants. Will that do you? I hope so, because I don't really want to spend any more time explaining that. But the truth of the matter is simple. Yeah, okay, let's pretend there are five constants. Let's just smoosh them together, make a sixth constant, but then all the other constants can disappear. 
you only have one constant. So like if A is something, B is something, C is something, D is something, and instead of A, B, C, and D, I just use E, E is literally just A plus B plus C plus D. That's all it is. All right, and that's, that's the logic behind it. So you don't need to faff around having four constants when you can get away with having one constant, which is far, far nicer. So all the constants just get smooshed into one constant. Think about like four little pieces of mashed potato that become a slightly bigger piece of mashed potato. I do not know where mashed potatoes come from. My pleasure. Anytime, you man. Anytime. Okay, can I... Have we got this down? Because I need to do some more magic on this. So what's happened there? I've eed both sides. All right? Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say, well, okay, well, Y is just Y. That's comfy. The E and the L and just cancelled. This is E to the X minus X to the minus 1, which is a bit annoying times e to the ln x times e to the ln k. And I realize you can't see much of that. So I'd better move the camera so you can. <sighs> camera up, it's being annoying. I am going to sort this camera business out. Right, there we go, okay? So that's the last line before I'm gonna write this out and carry on, right? So what I'm saying is this is that, because how powers work. So if you have e to the three plus five, it'll be e to the three times e to the five. Same thing here. So e to the x minus one plus ln x plus ln k is e to the x to the minus one times e to the ln x times e to the ln k. That's all it is. Okay, just using power laws. Um, I mean, fundamentally, man, they were both the same explanation. It does make my life easy. Um, that's the only reason why I'm doing it. Um, okay. So that's why this line is that line, because powers when you're adding them is the same as like times in them by those powers. So if you want a quick example of this, I can put it here, I suppose. Three, two to the, three times two plus three to the five is three squared times three to the five. That's true, okay? So that's why that line is what it is. And then we carry on. It's an adventure of a question. This is what Iman meant last lesson when he said you kind of need to, understand everything you kind of this it covers all the maths you know yeah it does and this is why i kind of rushed to this because i know you'd end up covering everything so we've now got to the point where we've got y equals you see that no you can't y equals now you can e to the minus one over x now fine e to the ln x is just x so that's just x and the thing is e to the ln a would just be a wouldn't it so that's just A. So your final answer, well, not your final answer, is A, X, E to the one minus X, or X to the minus one, if you prefer, all right? So that's your Y, and that's your equation. What do you need to do for part B? All you've got to do is substitute your two values in. I'm, I'm glad that this is all I need to do after this. E to the power four is Y, X is minus one. They go in there, Bob's your uncle, equation done. All right? And that's not even that stressful. This is stressful. There's a whole bunch of mathematics that's going on behind the scenes. The idea that if you can LN everything and all the rest of it, my advice to you is copy that down line by line and rewatch the video, right? Because I feel like there's about four of you that's baffled. And the best way, instead of me like repeating it for another hour and a half, which I will do if you want me to, I don't care. I mean, go back and watch the video. See if you can justify it to yourself line by line why each line is true. And then come back at me and say, like, sorry, go back. I don't understand this. All right? Can you sub it in? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you've been very patient in that case. Thank you. Um, this is e to the 4. All right? So that's y. Y is e to the 4. Um, we've got x is minus 1. So that's going to go ax. So x, x is minus 1. So a to the minus 1. Minus 1 divided by minus 1 is just 1, isn't it, then? Is x minus 1 that you're subbing in? The x is minus one, yes, yeah, so that's just going to be one. Divide through by e to the one and the minus one. Can you explain the part before you wrote this? Yeah, I can, but just give me a second. Um, divide through by e to the one, so you've got e to the three. And then divide through by the minus one, so you're just going to get minus e to the three is a. Um, and that's you done. And then you can substitute that back into there. I mean, you must be tired of hearing those words, but you know e to the minus three x, e to the minus a half, e to the minus one x, yeah, fair enough. Um, power laws say that we're adding this time. So that should be a minus sign, shouldn't it? How about that for you? 
So minus e to the three. I'm so sick of this question at this point. A is gone. That's a minus. That's just x. And that's e to the minus one over x. You got that. Cool. That's comfy. Um, you'd then you'd go what? That'd be three x over x. So be three x minus one. So your final answer would go minus x e to the. Oh god, kill me now. Three x minus one over x. And that's you done. And if I didn't get a round of applause for that, I never will. Um, right, there we go. You see the rest of it? Good. Right. Kaisan, you wanted the line before that, so I'm going to redo that line in entirety. So I'll leave this up just for a minute for, for Rebar and anyone else who's, who's understood it. Then I'm going to go back and recap. Um, remember, this work needs to get done at some point today. Yeah? So I don't mind. I'll explain for an hour and a half, right? What else have I got to do? But if I do that, you also will have to still do the work. You can't hand me in one question, right? I'll just go, no, I need to have one question. Michael. Um, so a few more seconds on this, then I'm gonna go back and deal with Kaisan's question, which is I didn't get the bit before this. Right. I want to start from this line, which is ln y equals minus 1 over x plus ln x plus ln a. Is that OK, or do you want the line before that? Is it OK to start from that line? Do you want to stand up to this line? And that's directly at chi -san. So Kaisa, the question I'm asking you is, is it okay for me to start my explanation from that line? Or do you want the line that's earlier than that? Where'd you get A from? Okay, this is actually, this is as a result of the integral. So normally we do a plus C. So all I've said is, because it's gonna make my life easier, sorry, man, but it's the tr truth, I'm gonna write C as LNA, because there's gonna be some number, if C exists, C is a positive whole number, this is a plus C, so we can go with that. There must be some number A, that LNC equals A. So if you've got a constant, and it's more convenient to you to write it, can I make it LNK because that's what we've been using in class the whole time, yeah? If it's more convenient you to write your constant as an LN, just write it as LNK, all right? Comfy now? So there's different ways of writing plus C. One is just your standard plus C, but another way that's acceptable is to write plus LNK, and they mean the same thing. And there's nothing special about either of those letters. It's just common that we always use plus C, and LNK is a thing that I use. I think most people use LNK as well. Um, No, that's, fair. that's a fair shot. I mean, there's nothing wrong with asking the question. I'm actually, as, as you know, as annoying as a person as I am as a teacher, that's fine. I don't mind when you ask questions because, you know what, at the end of the day, what else I'm getting paid for than to answer, right? If you don't answer questions, you aren't really a teacher. Not you. Right, here's what we're going to do. I want to get rid of the LN, right? The reason I want to get the LN is the answer's got to be Y equals stuff, yeah? How do you get rid of an LN? You put it to the power of an E. So I do that to this side, and that's simple. I do it to that side, and all hell breaks loose. Because I get this beautiful, kill yourself, me, not you. OK? So I've raised everything to the power of E. Hope that makes sense. Well, as I said, left-hand side is beautiful, lovely. Right-hand side, OK. Now it requires you to understand how powers work. You know that if you had x squared plus, so x plus 2 over 3, so 2 plus 3, that is the same thing as x squared times x cubed, all right? If you don't believe me, do the sums yourself, yeah? 
x to the 5 is x squared times x cubed. You can do that. It's a power law thing. Okay? So I'm going to write this as e to the minus, kill yourself, e to the minus 1 over x times e to the ln x times e to the ln k. All right? Just times them together. All right? So that's what I'm doing there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go, okay, let me simplify it some. E and ln obviously cancel, so e to the 1 over x. That's now x, and that's now k. Okay? So where do I finish up with? y equals kx e to the, kill yourself, kx e to the 1 over x. And that's where we end up before. Whether it's k or a or z or potato, it doesn't matter. It's the same thing. All right? I hope that now made sense. Okay? And the thing that happened after that, the thing you just you saw before, is just put the numbers into the formula. It isn't actually that hard. All right? I'm hanging around here for a few more minutes. If anyone's got any more further questions, please ask. If you are satisfied that you can now do this, go away and do this. What were the mechanics questions? Oh, that's a good shout. Um, I did put them up about like, but it was a while back, so I blame you for not remembering. It was exercise 10F. Given the amount of time I've spoken today, I'm not expecting you to complete all of them, but I do expect you to complete some of them, all right? Enough that you can say, I understand this. So if I test you on it, you don't die. All right? So 10F in applied book one, which is the book that I've sent you. All right? What's my 800 and bloody 14 emails? Are you sending me while I'm not looking? Right, look. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fine. So if anyone's got any further questions, I'm hanging around here for a bit. That was a bit of a slog today, um, which shows why it's super, super important to do your classwork. Because this was taught on Monday, all right? And people didn't take a full effort. And then people get battered today. Or I'm going to see if anyone's put any good questions. Yeah? I'm going to put in whatever's... So I'm hanging around here for at least another two and a bit minutes. If anyone feels like they need any help, we need to do mechanics as well. Yes, we were. I want you to do some differential equations. Actually, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. If you finish differential equations, move on to the, the pulley stuff. If you're finding, like, you know what, you're still here, like, and you, you've done two or three pages and you haven't, you know, you're still, you're not ready to do pulleys today. Fine, I'll let pulleys go till the next lesson. That's fine, till the end of the world. I want to see, when I see your work, that you've done enough work. That makes sense. Right now, you've got about 23 minutes till this lesson's over. So I would say, do a, at least a few differential equations questions. If you finish differential equations, um, differential equations questions, finish pulleys, you're done. I mean, your next lessons are going to be very cushy. You know, yeah. But for the rest of these guys, I do understand this is a bit overwhelming. There's a lot of questions. You know, there's a lot of maths in the differential equation stuff. Mind you, if you think this is bad, wait till one day, right? Um, let, okay, fine. Let's park the pulley stuff then. Finish the differential equations. I'll start next lesson with pulleys. How's that? There's a bit of kindness for you. So all you need to do is finish as much of 11J as you possibly can. I want to see a good chunk of work. I don't want to see a lot of my examples given back to me, thanks. I know what I did, all right, because I've got a video to tell me, all right? So, yeah, let mechanics die for today. I'm saying that officially now. Let mechanics die for today. So what should we send you today? All the work you've done on 11J, nothing else, all right? If you've done pulleys, you can send it to me if you want. I don't mean I don't mind. But the thing I'm looking at to see whether you've done your work today is 11J only. Is that all right? So I realise it is a bit much. It is a bit much at that point, isn't it? I mean, pulleys, I'll start Monday with pulleys, all right? Cool. So Monday, we'll start with pulleys, and then in the, in the second period, we'll do the second round of differential equations. It's going to be super, super important you understand differential equations because you'll get battered next lesson if you don't. You literally, you will die. Because the, the second bit's the hard bit. It's the bit I don't like. What about Kahoot? I mean, if I do Kahoot with you now, you won't even have a lesson. 
How about we start on the Monday with the kahuna? Yeah? Can someone, like, when I send a message 10 minutes before the lesson starts, can you type in a reminder saying, you promised the kahoot? Then it will probably happen. So we can start Monday with the kahoot, then do pudding. I can't see why not. Because as I said, I've got the tech ready, but I kind of want to shut up after talking for 70 minutes. That's, this is the longest video I think I've ever done. I mean, it's because it's hard and it's not your fault. I don't mind, but you know, you can start hearing my voice as well. Can I just also ask just quickly one more time, if you don't have proper IT equipment, if you're struggling with your Wi-Fi, if you're struggling with your internet access, can you let me know now, basically, on Teams, all right? So I can get you some funding, all right? And this, I'm going to do it today. I'll do it tomorrow as well, but it's better if you tell me now, so I can do some actual take action on it for you. I'm hanging around here, but you guys don't need to. I'm done here, unless you've got a question, all right? I'll hang around there just keeping like keep an eye on things, doing registers and all that. But as far as I'm concerned, no new teaching now. That's 70 minutes of me lecturing. That is a bloody long time to listen to anybody. Um, I'll keep checking the chat. I'll keep it on. I'll keep checking the chat, but I'll do the register and stuff like that now. Everyone was into that. It was good. Beautiful. Pop that off. Register. Start straight some registers. Everyone's in on on time, more or less. Anyone asking any questions? Yeah, same to you, man. Look after yourself. Remember that thing about the cahoot, because if you remind me, I'll do it. But it's not that like I don't want to do it. It's, it's not even that difficult, but you don't want, I, I'm to be honest with you. If I start that now, you wouldn't have any time to do any work at all. Because it's already 26. I need you to do practice. It's not, can BJ do integration? We can, mostly. All right. Uh, Right, so everyone was in today. Good. Much better. Much better. Anyone else saying anything? Nope. Okay, it doesn't look like anyone's asking anything. Um, so I'll stay here for another two minutes, but there's nothing else to hear unless you have a question. No new content, no jokes, no nothing. I'm just gonna be literally, you're gonna say click, click, click as I fill in forms and registers and things. What do I need to do today? I did all that. Oh yeah, form two. I'll do Dabit's form as well. Same to you. Um, take care. Have a good day, um, Reba, as well. So just saw Reba popped up. Boom, 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 boom. That's about where it's it falling. Close that. Send an email out. So half I need to do the book the book shop just the way. Right, I'm gonna close that down unless anyone's got a question. Let's find out. Yeah, I think that's enough now. Take care.